Where are we going today? So did you number Video update. The car that was uh, in an accident is back from the shop. We're gonna see what they what the work they did. Looks like they reused the quarter panels, just banged it back into place, repainted it. Looks like they you can feel new paint here and then they tapered it off. So they did a, a repaint from this quarter panel to about right here. It's a pretty good job matching actually. We paint the hood, bent these things back into place. I'm not gonna pop the hood, I just wanted to, I just wanted to see the handiwork. I wonder how much time and how much they had to replace. I'm guessing they didn't replace really anything, they just hammered everything back into place. Halloween's over, Mr. Mummy. Thanks for playing. Bit of a bittersweet day. Today is uh, pretty much our last weekend for our Disneyland passes before they expire. And we are not renewing this time. What the F? <laughs> Why are you mad though? Like, I understand that they may need to set up ahead of time. But, like, let us get closer to Thanksgiving. I mean, ideally, don't put up anything until after Thanksgiving. Right. Let's just do one holiday at a time. Now they got the little gingerbread boxes set up. <gasps> Leia apparently got me something from the Starbucks here at Disneyland. Yay! Now time for the next holiday. Without a doubt, Corn Dog Castle, some of the best corn dogs I've ever had. Spicy, hot link corn dog, amazing. The great beer selection of California Adventure. I will get a prankster. Prankster? Yes, please. How's it going, buddy? Do you like your chips? Do you like your orange juice? Or apple juice? Or apple cider? Yeah, apple cider. Okay. Is it beer? Is it beer? Yeah. yeah, sure it is. This is your favorite ride? One of the better staged rides, that's for sure. Look at those apes into my jeep. They left the lights on. See, those lines are getting ready to enjoy some zebra on the rocks. You know, I hear it's pretty difficult eating a zebra because you know you have to go from the white meat to the dark meat to 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 the tail. Yeah, I hear it's hard. Right there is why you guys should never ever get into an argument with a rhino, though. Yeah, they will always get their point across. Women and children, you will be safe. They are man I totally forgot about that. Oh, 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 o
This is the Columbia. Yeah. Oh. Look at that. Lobster bisque and lobster roll. Little man passed out. We're sitting in uh, Frontierland right next to the Ray Bradbury tree. Very cool, lighted Halloween tree that they do every year. There's a little plaque. Where's the little plaque? Yeah, there's a little plaque right there. All right, so we're about to leave Disneyland and uh, I saw this car. I, <laughs> are you ready? <laughs> It's like a... That is pretty wild. <laughs> Blues Brothers, man. That's really funny. I feel I need to clarify a point. We are not renewing our annual passes because Leia is pregnant. She is going to be due sometime in March, and the months leading up to pregnancy, we probably won't be going to Disneyland. They're the tougher, less mobile times of the pregnancy. And after the pregnancy, we won't be going to Disneyland either because you don't really take newborns out to places where they could get communicable diseases. So we don't take the baby out places usually until the baby is well immunized. That's just that's just what we do. Um, also. That whole rate hike thing, it's like $200 increase for the premium pass, and that's what Leia has is the premium pass. And I have the deluxe, which is less than the premium. But, you know, that's that's not a paltry sum by any means. So it's, it's a lot of money to get a Disneyland pass nowadays. I remember, God, back in the in the 90s, it was, you know, I think it was under 200 bucks for the whole year. It's just, it was awesome. I go to Disneyland all the time. Uh, anyway, yeah, just thought I needed to clarify that point. I didn't really have a good clip. I, I recorded it outside, but it just the the wind was killing it. And you couldn't hear what I was saying. Trying to explain why it was that I'm we're not renewing. Still like Disneyland, they got to do what's profitable for them. So I can't really be upset about the rate hike. Uh, but you know, maybe the year after, probably the year after. Nice. Okay, question of the day: cultural appropriation. Do you know what cultural appropriation is? And and, you know, since we just came out of Halloween, Halloween is like the leading day of cultural appropriation across the country. And I always find it really interesting to kind of hear people's opinions regarding cultural appropriation. What's a really good example of cultural appropriation? A white person wearing an Indian headdress and going as an Indian brave. A... another white person going as a overly stereotypical Mexican person with a sombrero poncho and like holding a bottle of of tequila and some kind of bad mustache thing. Cultural. No, 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 no. It doesn't even need to be overly. <laughs> My wife is is talking in the background, correcting me. So basically, if if you dress up as anything that's just another culture, that's the whole, that's the costume. I'm dressing as someone of culture A, and I'm from culture B. That's technically cultural appropriation. What do you think about that? Uh, is it no big deal? Is it is it bad thing? Is it okay? <laughs> Case in point, we were at Disneyland and someone was sitting next to us and, and he's like, well, I guess you can't wear Indian headdresses now. Like it's some kind of new thing that people didn't know about. And I'm curious, do people not know about this? Let me phrase it this way. Do you think it's not a big deal and people are just overreacting? Are people being too sensitive uh, when it comes to this kind of stuff? I know when we do things, we white people do things. We're kind of just like, ah, we don't mean any harm by it. Ah, it's fine. We just really like your culture, right? It's like, you know, one of my, some of my best friends are black. <laughs> You know, that kind of thing. Anyway, just curious what you guys' opinion is. We talked about it uh, yesterday and Halloween with, with our friends, and we saw that guy today, and it's just, you know, curious what everybody thinks. All right, have a great evening, day, whatever it is when you watch this, and I'll talk to you tomorrow.